Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I got in a new gun that I've been trying to find for a long, long time. You guys that watch the videos all the time already probably know what I'm talking about, but I finally found something I've been looking literally all over the country for. Finally found one and appreciate you guys. Some of you guys have messaged me and say that you found one by the time i called the pawn shop or the other gun shop they had already sold it so i've literally been trying to find this and some of you guys have been trying to help me i'm over here at heavy metal i think i'm pick it up check it out and if we're lucky we might even uh video flinging some bullets here out at the range here check it out comment down below if you well, guess what it is get that fancy tripod mm -hmm. And here it is, surprise, surprise, another Ruger American. And what caliber is it in? 7.62 by 39, Ruger Ranch Rifle. But you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Ruger Ranch Rifles, mainly because they're cheaper than everything else normally. But yeah, I've been trying to find this one for a long time. And Shout out to Gun Prime. That's where I found this one. If I can get it out of the box. There you go. I've got a, a 450 Bushmaster ranch rifle just like this. And also the 350 Legend. Also, hopefully all the pieces are in here, huh? There's the mag. That's a little different looking. For 7.62 by 39. That's what that looks like. Guess you push forward on it to drop the mag out. Hmm. Then we need a bolt. and everything hmm. what am I doing here let's take that mag out there we go one thing I like about the Ruger Americans is it comes with that rail on it so pretty much anything you got, you can slap on it. Don't have to worry about getting another rail or anything. But these also come with threaded barrels, these ranch rifles. So that's a cool plus too. But hey, that's my new rifle I've been trying to find for for months. Again, a big shout out to Gun Prime and Heavy Metal. Y'all go check the links down below and go subscribe to both of their channels. But maybe we can... Fling some bullets out of this thing. Feels like it wants to hang up on that empty mag there. Might have to do some working on that. But yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can get this thing to fire some bullets here. I guess that little thing is supposed to do that. Hmm, the way that mag is. I don't know if you can see that that little piece on the back of that mag there. That's weird. Hmm. I've never seen a bolt rifle with that on there, but yeah, that's weird. meant to be. I guess. But, hey, comment down below any more ideas for this. You know there's going to be a ton of videos on it. Let's go check it out. All right, so we made it out to the range here. The only ammo that I have right now in 7.62x39 is some of this wolf stuff. What is this, 123 grain? steel case i know some of you guys have told me you shoot fancy brass case 762 by 39 um and a lot of you guys have told me you hunt with the uh caliber but i'm gonna guess that this sucker holds five so let's grab five bullets out of here one two three oh there's another one four man why they make it Oh, 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 oh. I just stabbed myself with the staple there. Mm. That hurt pretty good there. 
tag gun it. Well, there's five bullets. Let's see what we can do for for loading it up here. Well, there's five in there. Oh, there's five in there. Well, I don't have a scope on here yet, but let's just see if we can look down the barrel and hit some steel up here on the range. All right, so let me turn this where you guys can see. There is, there are two pieces of yellow steel right there. First one's at 40 or so yards. The one up there is at 50. Let's, uh, man. I really had to manhandle that one to get the first one to load. I'm gonna just kind of look down the barrel at that first 40 yard one and see if we can hit something. Safety off. I don't know if you guys saw it, but this thing uh, throws quite the uh, fireball. I don't know if you guys can see it swinging up there or not, but that's the one we're hitting. Oh yeah! So, hey, there's five rounds out of the new new to me they've had this out for several years 762 by 39 Ruger American you guys know that watch the channel that I'm a big Ruger American fan but yeah hey so far it runs good I have no idea why the back of that mag has that stop on it if you guys have a clue why that what the point of that is let me know to me that's kind of annoying you can't close the uh, bolt on an empty mag there well, now that mag's not wanting to drop out. Somebody said, oh, that's some low quality, but eh, for the price, I like low quality on stuff like that. See that, uh, that little stopper up there on the back of the mag? When it's empty, that pops up and keeps the bolt from closing. I don't know what the advantage is to that, but I don't know. Somebody let me know what the reason is for that, but hey. Appreciate y'all watching. This was a quick one. Just to check out the new to me Ruger American 7.62x39. I cannot wait to do a bunch of videos on this, but wanted to show you guys real quick. I was so excited to get it. But again, I couldn't have got this without my friends at Gun Prime and also at Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors. So y'all go down below and subscribe to their channels and tell them I sent you. Appreciate y'all. Tons more videos coming with this rifle. We'll see y'all on the next one. Hoo-hoo!